Yo, how's it going, bros? Keys, it's your boy Lofi here, and today we're looking at some Karen's caught stealing with my boy Keed. Uh, he's gonna have another video that we made together over on his channel, so you guys should go check that out. Yes, yes, this Karen that we watch on my channel is insane. So check it out after you watch this video. But yeah, let's get into it. You cut people off, trying to wreck them. Yeah, put it on YouTube. Make yourself famous. Get out of the car again. See what happens. Dude, why does this guy have like the cop sunglasses, dude? Like they like you know the type of guy I've talked about, they always have the Oakleys. <laughs> yes. That's him, bro. Let's go. I'm not gonna let go. We're gonna call the police and deal with this the right way. That's not okay? the right way to just take someone's purse. Bro, why is she like this is not the right way you stop someone from stealing? You're supposed to just say hey ma'am as I walk out the door so I can get away with it. What a dude, how entitled are these Karen's, bro? <laughs> You're not gonna go anywhere. You We're gonna call the police. Yeah, you know what will happen to you when you assault someone? You'll go to fucking jail. You know what will happen whenever you shoplift? You also go to jail, bro. So you both gonna see each other in the pen. And then what happens? Ain't no cops to stop the fight now. Good, you good. Sure, okay, when the police get it, we'll see. Yeah? We'll see, okay? Yeah. Okay, yes, we will see. We'll see. Okay, good. You shoplift here. You can't shoplift here. Bro, if I was working, I would just be like, I would just be like, please just go the fuck away. Like, I would not want to have to deal with this shit. I know, at dude. At my job, when people steal, we're just told not to do anything because it's really not worth it. Like, <laughs> if a Karen wants to be a Karen. Yeah, they're all like billion dollar companies. At the end of the know? day, yeah. But this person's being a Karen about getting caught. Like, if you get caught, just be like, hey, okay, here's the stuff back and then go about your day. This girl's getting the cops called on her for because she wanted what? What, what does she need? This looks like a 7-Eleven. Yeah, she could easily just like, she has an opportunity to just like leave it at the store and go and not be in trouble but instead she's yeah i don't know what you need from a corner store like this so bad what what so, some gumdrops so <laughs> from no fucking peach dude, rings, yeah the peach dude. rings honestly i'd st I, i'd go to jail with some peach rings too especially the uh the special peach rings <laughs> yeah why not why not yeah why not you don't shoplift here you can go somewhere else not here fine let me go somewhere else Fine, let me go shoplift somewhere else. No, seriously, she's like, fine, okay, I'll go steal from somewhere else. Dude, this is gonna be used against her in court. She literally admitted that she's gonna go to another store and steal more stuff, bro. Karens are so dumb. You're not going anywhere, you shoplift. Just stay right here, and we're gonna call the police. You're gonna get arrested. Yeah, it's real simple. You just hurt me in the parking lot. We'll see That's how right. that works, too. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Just get him to let go of oh man, the manager coming out now. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? Place your bets, guys. Is she gonna be like, leave? Or is she gonna team up and steal something and run out of the door? I'm putting my money on steal. I have five bucks on. We're about to see a cat fight. And honestly, I'm here for it. That wasn't an option. Karen manager. <laughs> <laughs> it's an option now. Yeah. Are they coming? They're okay. Coming. Good. We'll see. Okay. You can't shoplift and think you're gonna you get away. You just grab someone. Yes, I can. You shoplifted. He's not grabbing someone. He's grabbing the shit that she's stealing. Yeah, he's grabbing the bag, which has the stolen stuff in it. I mean, technically, he's right under, like, citizen's arrest laws, depending on the state. I mean, he's he's holding her there because she's committing a crime. I mean, honestly, the guy's not doing nothing wrong. The Karen's being extra for no reason. I don't get why so many people are so entitled nowadays. You go into a store, you see something that's one price, and you're like, well, no, I decided to steal it instead. And then get mad when you get caught like bro at the end of the day just take your l and move on with your life it ain't that hard grow as a person right also this is like a cvs the most expensive thing you could steal is probably like 30 bucks no seriously like you're going this crazy over like maybe 30 40 dollars worth of stolen stuff bro like you need it that bad dang yes i can you should have just pushed me into the parking lot sure i did she pushed her in a parking lot they're in the store they're not even in the park the parking lot you can see there's a gate out there like you gotta walk by a bunch of stuff why do they look the same this girl on the left and the girl on the right they're identical Bro, what the f it's a glitch in the, the matrix. matrix man the karens they, they they ran out of karens to make so they're just replicating them at this point Let's go with my i love how everybody's just walking about their day like ah yeah another karen all right we will we'll see this on the internet later honestly it'd be pretty epic to walk into the store at this moment i'd be like be yo nice. another i whip out my phone and be like hey yo <laughs> punch her in the face Me too. there'd be another camera angle added like dude you gotta get a cinematic karen universe at this point <laughs> ma'am oh you gonna start kicking yes you gonna start kicking out the shop start start kicking he hurt me in the park you shoplifted Dude, what is she talking about the parking lot? I, I mean, I guess something happened before they started filming, but like, 
why would he hurt her in the parking lot before she like went in the store and stole like th this can't be true yeah this doesn't make any sense the math ain't mathin bro the math is not mathin at all you don't shout up the net you're kicking me go yeah. ahead and watch you what happens you hurt me in the parking lot you threw me in her oh arm. yeah yeah my arm i did i sure did oh really i'm gonna take you down for that now Oh, bro. Oh, she bro. just tried a nut shot, dude. She really tried to kick him in the balls. Dude, honestly, all men can feel it. She fucking missed that. Oh, thank God she missed. I was not trying to feel that in my nuts today. Thank you, Jam, for that now. Bro, he took her to the ground. <laughs> honestly, it's self defense, bro. Get that, Karen. Dude, look, like the glasses on the floor. She's about to be like Velma. My glasses, my glasses. Now you gotta help me. <laughs> Bro, this is like a real life WWE match, bro. He just body slammed her to the floor. What was she expecting though? She could just kick and get away with it? No, honestly, bro. If anybody tries to kick me in the balls, you're immediately getting Randy Orton RKO'd. Stop it! Ma'am, you need to chill. You need to chill out! You need to chill. Stop, Man, stop, stop it! Stop. Stop it! You need to calm down. Stop it! Bro, even the old lady who was you would think would be more likely to be a Karen is saying, just chill out, bro. Like, even the old people are tired of it, man. The Karens are like, this is too much Karen. <laughs> no, for You're real. supposed to only just ask for the manager. We don't do all this shit. For real, bro. I guess you missed the last Karen meeting. Let him go. No! Stop. No! Can you let him go? No, no. No! Oh, let him let him go! Bro, everybody in the store is coming up to hold her down because they all realize, all right, bro, the community's coming together. This is how we bring everybody in America back into one people. We, it's us against the Karens, bro. Honestly, if there's one thing that could, like, unite America, it's the fact that, like, everybody hates Karens. Like, if we could all agree on one thing, like, that, that's how we're going to win. For real, you got a black guy over here. You got this Mexican chick right here. Like, bro, everybody of all colors, creeds, and races coming together. This is Martin Luther King's dream. When Martin Luther King said, I had a dream. This is beautiful. This yeah. brings a tear to my eye. This is what he meant. I'm <laughs> cold, <laughs> okay? I'm working. I'm working. She's what's that? Let me hold you see, do you know her? Do you know her? Let her go. Let me go! Honestly, man, like, she needs to, like, stop stealing and maybe go join a metal band. These screams, like, honestly, I'd like to see her behind a mic with some heavy chugs, bro. She needs to drop the Karen act and just start going, woo. No! Oh, no. You That's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back, run it back, run it back. It's a hell of a drug. It's a hell of a drug. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm on crack right now, but dang, man, she tweaking. <laughs> Dude, the guy was like missing a tooth. Bro, crackheads calling out crackheads, man. That's how you know it's going crazy right now. Dude, that guy's on fucking crack, bro. Go ahead. I will let someone else. Step away from me now. No. Yes. I work here. So no. Yeah, that doesn't. He he like honestly just let her go like dude i don't care enough about any single item at my job to like fight a karen over stealing it like i'm just gonna like get out my camera and laugh honestly though like this guy you know he's trying to be the hero just like i wouldn't give a f bro i don't know he's doing a little bit too much here you know you that, turn right? around on me it's gonna be bad for you you face the other way don't move got it yeah put your feet together put your fingers together Put your fingers together. <laughs> this lady walking in, she's just standing there admiring the scene. She's just like, oh, what's <laughs> going on here, son of a boy? <laughs> Dude, it's like a GTA NPC, like, interacting. She just, like, stands and, like... <laughs> Bro, I can't imagine going to go get my groceries or something. Like, I need a gallon of milk or whatever to, like, bake my son a cake for his birthday. And I go to the, you know, store really quick. And it's just, like, a full-on brawl between three cops, some cashier, and a Karen, bro. Like, that that would honestly be the highlight of my day. Is that yours? Oh, you need some help? Yeah, this is our stuff. This is yours? Yes. No. Bro, so these Karens really pulled up to the beach, realized they forgot everything they had, and just gonna steal this random guy's stuff and act like they don't know what's going on. I feel like it's pretty easy to remember whether or not you bought a $200 tin or not. I want this Karen to turn me into a Kevin. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, the housing market is bad. In anything for some free houses. <laughs> it is. This is all ours. Uh, all of it. The chairs, the bag, this is all our stuff. 
My kids. Yep, that's my kids. Dude, why are they acting like they're absolutely like their brains are made out of rocks or something right now? Bro, bro are they trying to claim his kids? They pointed the kids and was like, that's our grains. Like, no, those are my kids. Those are my kids, bro. She's even trying to steal homie's kids. Those are your kids? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. How much of a can- This has to be willful ignorance at this point. Like, Dude, imagine trying to steal something this big. Like, what the fuck? I can't believe y'all for nope. that. You're not going anywhere. Right now, you're being detained. Okay? Detained for what? Uh, larceny? You stole his sign. He has it back. Okay, yeah, I because I got it from you. <laughs> I moved it 50 yards. I don't care if you moved it one foot. You don't have a right to take someone's property. Like, bro, if I break into someone's house and then I, like- you know, take their entire kitchen and be like, well, I only moved it like a foot away from the door. It's still theft. If I steal a car and only drive it two seconds, you know, down the road, that's still theft. Bro, if I steal something from your house and I'm your neighbor, it's like, oh, it's only a mile away. It's not a big deal. Yeah, this is the worst argument for theft I've ever seen in my entire life. I drove 40 minutes and it was extremely fast. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where they're coming from? Was she talking about the aliens, dude? Is the IRS coming or the aliens coming? <laughs> dude, what the fuck is going on here? I don't even know. <laughs> Why is she, like, being a Karen through somebody's ring doorbell camera? <laughs> Like, Bro, like, what? how stupid do you have to feel to, like, look into a rectangular box and be like, um, actually, I need to see you right now. Can I see you right now? Like, can I see the manager of the household, please? <laughs> can I see the man of the house? Ugh, misogynist. That's literally her energy. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from. I drove 40 minutes. And it was Hold up, so she's mad because they probably chose the leave at the door option and she had to drive far so she wants to look the person in the eyes. D I don't know if it's just me, but I love the leave at the door option. No, it's probably a tip thing. It's probably a tip ah, thing. Ah, she mad about the tip. It's extremely far and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. Mother. I'm not understand. Bro, so she's mad because she had to drive really far and sit through traffic. That's it. Okay, let me just say this, all right? She's... Yeah, she's mad because she had to drive far to deliver this order. Now, listen, I am a delivery driver. I don't do DoorDash because that's a fucking scam, but I do like grocery delivery and it tells you. I have also, I have DoorDash in the past, let me just say. And on DoorDash, it tells you exactly how many miles you're going to be driving. She already knew how many miles she was going to drive. It also shows you the amount of tip you're going to get for your order. So it will tell you if there's no tip or if there's a $30 tip, whatever. So she fucking knew exactly what she was getting into. I don't know why. She's all mad at it now. It's the Karen mind. It will never be understood. That shit needs to be studied, bro. Honestly, we're probably really going to see studies in like 30 years. The mind of the Karen by H.G. Geiger or something. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 15, 20 minute drive. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's, it's 12 and a half miles. But that's the same. That's two extra miles. Like, Bro, what? I drive 23 miles to work every day and it takes me 28 minutes. There's no way. And I have to sit through traffic sometimes. There's no way 12 miles is a 40 minute drive. There's absolutely no way. That's complete bull. Anybody who has ever driven a car <laughs> knows that. So I think you need to adjust your tip. Dude, this is not how you get a tip. This is how you get your tip taken away. Like, what? Exactly. Dude, he's going to report her to whatever delivery service this is, and now she's going to be out of a job because she doesn't know how to tell time. So I think you need to adjust your tip to make it right. How much of the tip? It's like all of this for an extra $5 tip or something, by the way. Like, is this really worth it? You could have already finished another trip by now. Exactly. She could have made more bread by just dropping the order off and leaving. Honestly, bro, she needs to get her money up. I guess she can stay broke. L on her. You gave an $8 tip. What the hell are you looking for? So you were right, Keed. She wants more money for the tip for driving the extra two miles. Oh, my God. That's a good tip. Dude, that honestly is. Dude, that is literally a really... Dude, the most tip... The most I tip for, like, DoorDash is, like, five bucks if it's really far. Like, that is a good-ass tip. $8 tip, no matter how many miles. Also, like I said, you see how much you're getting tipped whenever you DoorDash. Like, you know right away how many miles, how much you're going to be making exactly, including the tip. So I don't, like, this is the most insane Karen argument ever. I gave an eight okay, I'm going to bring the food back. I'm going to bring the food back. Okay. She stole their food? Bro, so she's mad about an $8 tip. And look at the size of that bag. It's not even a big bag. So it's maybe like $20 worth of like DoorDash food. And so he basically gave, what? what, what is that, a 16% tip? Dude, I think it's even worse than her stealing the food. She's going to drive back. She said she's going to return the food. Maybe she's stealing it here. If she's stealing it, then 
whatever, you know, she's stealing it. But I think she's going to drive it back to the restaurant and return it. Because you can cancel an order and return it to the store. So that means she's going to do all the extra driving, all the extra mileage on her car just to return the order because she's a petty bitch. And not even receive the tip. They're going to charge like what, maybe a $5 return fee and then she'll get that. Yeah, now now she's getting no tip and she's driving double the miles. Like, Dude, this is probably the dumbest Karen on the entire planet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, yeah, that Karen is now going to either steal the food or eat the food. Anyways, the moral of this video is uh, don't order from DoorDash because the Karen will yell at your ring camera and tell you that you have a small pee-pee. Anyways, you guys go check out Keed's video. Go sub to his channel. Channel. close friend of mine makes funny content you should go check out the karen video over there yep, yep. click it on the end screen right here and uh yeah bye seriously though if you guys enjoyed this video smash up that like on it and if you do subscribe i'd really appreciate that seriously though all jokes aside i really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day i've been lofi peace out broskies